Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have seen how to create a basic Python application using Flask framework and how we can deploy the same application in Azure Virtual Machine. So today in this video, we are going to see what is App Service Plan and App Service in Azure. So before seeing what is App Service Plan, let's first see what is App Service in the first place and what are the advantages that we are going to get by using Azure App Service. App Service is a PaaS offering from Azure for hosting our web applications, REST APIs, and backend services for mobile applications. Here, PaaS in the sense, platform as a service. That means all the infrastructure required for our applications to run is created and maintained by Azure itself. We are not going to provision any infrastructure. We will only focus on developing our applications and deploying them in App Service. And Azure will take care of provisioning the infrastructure for our applications. So when I say infrastructure, what infrastructure does our application need? So for any application to run, it needs certain amount of CPUs, memory, and instances. And these instances should have respective SDK and framework installed to run our application. And sometimes, based on the user traffic, these instances should scale. So we need all these things to run our application. So who will be provisioning this infrastructure for us? We will not be creating all these things uh, for running our applications. Azure will take care of creating and managing these things for us which help us in focusing only on developing our application and deploying them in App Service. So in summary, till now we have seen App Service is a pass offering for hosting our applications in Azure and it will take care of creating and managing the infrastructure for us. But the next question that immediately comes to our mind is how do Azure know how much infrastructure does our application need? How much infrastructure does Azure need to create for us? Some applications need less CPU and memory. Some applications need more CPU and more memory. So how come Azure will know this? Here, App Service Plan comes into picture. Azure will offer different plans for our applications. For example, free App Service Plan, basic app service plan standard and premium so based on the plan you choose you will get a certain hardware resources and features for our application so these are the features and hardware resources so if you choose a basic app service plan you may get less cpu and memory and less features and if you choose premium app service plan you may get more CPU and more memory and also more features. So based on the requirement, you can choose any app service plan and accordingly, Azure will provision resources for us. So now the next question is, can we use single app service plan for hosting multiple applications or multiple web apps? So the answer is yes. Here you can see I have a basic app service plan. And since I have created a basic app service plan, I will get less CPU and memory. So I'm deploying only one web application in this basic app service plan. But here, if you see, I have created a premium app service plan. Since I have created a premium app service plan, I will get more CPU and more memory and more instances. So I'm deploying more applications into this premium app service plan. So this is totally up to you, how you want to create and manage the app service plan and how you want to deploy the web apps into the app service plan. But please remember the app service plan and web apps or the app service should be created in the same region. All right, let's move on to the Azure portal and see how we can create app service plan and app service. 
I'm in Azure portal now. We need to create app service plan first. So let's search for app service plan on the top. So click on app service plan and click on create. So you will come to this page. So in this page, you have to provide the details for creating the app service plan. So I'll be providing the resource group as demo hyphen RG. So this is the resource group that I have created earlier. So in your case, if you don't have resource group created, you can click on create new and you can create a new resource group. So let me give the name of the app service plan as demo hyphen ASP and linux is the operating system that i'm uh, selecting and the resource and the region sorry region is each years right and here if you come down uh, in pricing plan so this is where you have to select the plan uh, that matches your requirement for your web applications right so if you click on explore pricing plans you will see all the different plans that are available So these are the different plans um, free f1 basic v1 premium v3 right if you come down you can see premium v2 standard s1 standard s2 so these are the different plans that uh, you will be having so based on the plan you select azure will create the infrastructure for us for deploying our applications right so if you choose basic v1 right you will get 100 acu and one vcpu 1.75 gb of memory 10 gb of remote storage and it can scale maximum up to three instances right but if you choose a premium plan right you will get 195 acu one vcpu and 4 gb memory and 250 gb remote instance and it can scale up to 30 instances so based on the plan you will get more amount of the cpu uh memory and the instances right so you can choose the plan that is uh, that will match your requirement so these are the hardware view but if you click on the feature view as well on the top uh, you can see what are the features that you will get based on the plan you choose so here for premium you will get a custom domain available and you can set the rules for the auto scale right so if uh, you can set for example if the cpu uh, threshold increases more than 70 percent right so uh, it will increase the instance uh, by one right and you can also set uh, if the cpu uh, limit decreases by uh, 40 percent right so the uh, instance will come down right so based on the rules uh, there will be an upscale and downscale will happen automatically right and you will get a 50 daily backups and you will get an option for 20 staging slots you can create but if you choose a basic b1 plan right so you will get a custom domain but here in the auto scaling option uh, you will get a manual that means you cannot uh, create any rules uh, you have to manually increase or decrease the instances so there will be you no know, option for the daily backups and you won't get any staging slots so what is staging slot and uh, uh, everything we'll discuss uh, later, but uh, based on the plan you choose, you'll get different features, right? So let's, uh, for now, let's go with a premium V3, right? And let's select uh, this plan. And here at the bottom, you can see zone redundant option that is disabled, right? Why it is disabled? Because from premium V3, this option is not enabled for us, right? If we click on the same one and if you go to the premium v3 right if you click on premium v3 uh, on the features tab you can see zone redundant uh, so we don't have that option for that so if we select a premium v3 p1 v3 uh, you will be having the zone redundant so let's select this one and here now it's enabled for us right so you will be having an option to enable this one or disable this one based on the plan you choose you will get those options so let's 
click on review and create and create the app service plan On okay now the app service plan is created so let's create app service so for that one search for app service on the top and click on app services click on create and uh, now let's create a web app so here uh, select the resource group um, so I'm selecting the demo hyphen RG, the same resource group that I have used for creating the app service plan. And here, let me give a name for our web application. So let's, let me give a name as Python iPhone application. It's already taken. Let me give a name. So yeah. So I'm providing the name uh, as the Python iPhone application for our web app. Uh, the reason why I have given a Python as an application because in the next video I'm going to deploy the Python application. Uh, so that's the reason I'm uh, providing the name as Python application for our web app. So in the publish section, you will be uh, having three options that you can deploy directly uh, your code or you can uh, create a Docker image for your uh, application and you can uh, deploy that docker image so that it will run as a docker container or you can run as a static web app right uh, let's choose the runtime stack so let's choose the python 3.8 as our runtime stack because we are going to deploy the python application so here uh, if you see i'm selecting the region as east us so um, the same region that I have selected while creating the app service plan as well right um, so if you come down you can see the in the pricing plan you are choosing the demo hyphen asp so this is the plan that we have created earlier so since we have used the same region we are able to see app service plan that we have created if you change the region as a different one each to you you will not able to see the app service plan that we have created earlier. so make sure uh, you will be using the same region for creating both uh, web app as well as the app service plan so this is the app service plan that we have choose right and if we come down uh, there will be zone redundant that is disabled uh, based on our app service plan now if you go to the deployment section uh, you will get an option for continuous deployment so if you want you can enable uh, this continuous deployment option and you can view uh, your github account you can specify the organization the repository name and the branch so that whenever you commit your code to this respective branch right so it will automatically deploy to this web app so for now let's disable this one and let's go to the networking section uh, we'll enable the public access uh, we'll disable the network injection so we'll go um, everything as it is so we don't need any application insights as of now so i'm disabling that one and let's review and create let's click on review and create and creating the web app okay uh, the web app has been created so click on go to resource so it will redirect you to the python application that we have created so you can see the options uh, on the left hand side and the details uh, here so this is the resource group that we have created and by default it will give a domain for us with the name uh, of the web app that we have created and this is the app service plan right in the next video 
we are going to deploy a basic Python application in this web app and we are going to see how we can access that web app and what are all the different options that we have in this web app. So please like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss out on my next videos. Thank you.